During October of 2017 in the Rusikyo district of Phnom Penh, Cambodia, the groundbreaking ceremony was held for a 6,500 cubic meter planned plot. The project was named the Skytree. A shoe factory previously stood on this plot. A new policy was announced by the Cambodian government in 2013. All manufacturing industries were required to be relocated from Phnom Penh. Mr. Simon Wu, the chairman of JNL Property Development, decided to transform this plot into real estate development and planned to integrate hotel with residents, along with retail income, to create a unique 32-floor structural design. Canis Sino Construction Corporation was fortunate enough to be invited to participate in the tender and ultimately won the bid for this construction project. After entering the 21st century, the economy of Cambodia was booming. Real estate development also skyrocketed. Canis Sino Construction Corporation took advantage of these prosperous times in Phnom Penh. With our expertise, we have innovatively reshaped architecture. Sky Tree Project is a commercial residential building with a floor area of about 150,000 square meters, including three buildings with 33 floors and one basement floor. For each structure, the developer requested a one-time pouring from the basement up to the fourth floor. This so-called one-time pouring method was used when pouring the concrete and related drainage and other accessory structures were also completed simultaneously. Instead of waiting to level the floors, the original concrete was pressed and burnished immediately after it was poured. In order to prevent the concrete from cracking, the difference between the surface temperature and the inside temperature of the concrete should be minimalized while demolding. In order to control the temperature, some specialists were assigned to cure the concrete for at least seven days. The top surface of the concrete slabs was covered with sacks to reduce the surface temperature. Additionally, Water was sprayed continuously while curing the concrete in order to keep the sacks in a wet state. No one was allowed to walk on the concrete slab before the concrete strength achieved 1.2 MPa. Careful curing dramatically reduces the temperature difference between the surface and the inside of the concrete during the solidification process. Thus effectively prevent cracking. JNL Property Development is a developer from Taiwan. Sky Tree was their first construction project in Cambodia. The developer had great expectations for their first initiative. The construction of the steel bars followed four standards in order to pass inspection. These four standards were America, England, mainland China, and Taiwan respectively. Each standard focuses on different requirements. This posed a great challenge to the construction, management, and inspection acceptance for the construction team. Canis Sino Construction Corporation spent three months to check against the highest standards for each process. After communicating and confirming with the owner, a model was created. The construction methodically followed the model in order to prevent reworking, thus saving on building materials. การ
In addition to strictly testing the straight thread sleeves, there were several other tests completed to strengthen the inspection. One very important item among them was the radiation examination. Why is a radiation examination required for rebar? Critical to a building's construction, the main function of the rebar is to support the load and to resist earthquakes. Similar to the skeleton of a human, rebar is the main structural material of a building. Some pollutants may enter the manufacturing process and contaminate that rebar creating radioactive rebar. If the rebar is not carefully checked, radioactive rebar will inadvertently be used in construction, thus creating a radioactive house. Exposure to radioactive houses can cause many illnesses in residents. Therefore, it is critical to perform the radioactive examination in order to prevent the unwanted usage of contaminated rebar. More than 60,000 cubic meters of concrete were used for this project. Two kinds of checks were required for every concrete pouring. They were the concrete strength and the chloride ion content tests. Why is the soluble chloride ion content examination required for concrete? Concrete is composed of several ingredients. They are cement, sand, and aggregate. Among them, sand is actually very easily pollutable. There are many sources of pollutants in river sand. Furthermore, there have been instances where dishonest suppliers stole sea sand and added it into the concrete mix. This creates the so-called sea sand house. The chloride ion content is very high in sea sand house. It gradually corrodes the rebar of the building, causing the concrete to peel off and diminishing its strength greatly. It even creates hidden dangers in the architectural structure. Thus to prevent the sea sand from entering the building material, the chloride ion content must be examined closely during the concrete pouring process. According to the specifications of the China National Standard CN is 3090, the chloride ion content for pre-stressed concrete should not surpass 0.15 kg per cubic meters. And the chloride ion content for reinforced concrete should not surpass 0.30 kg per cubic meters. With the strict guidelines of the soluble chloride ion content examination, we can prevent sea sand from penetrating the structure and ensure the safety of the whole wheat dwelling. The Sky Tree project increased land utilization to the highest degree. Adjacent houses were extremely close to the two sides of the site. After installing the outer scaffold, some houses were only two meters away. Due to the close proximity to neighboring residents, the construction posed as a nuisance for the surrounding neighborhood. Under normal conditions, two or three shifts would be arranged for the construction. Construction around that clock might have sped up the progress by only allowing concrete quarry during the day. The level of construction difficulty increased. Sigong 
By adjusting our working time, we reduced the inconveniences to the neighborhood as much as possible. The construction was completed smoothly on schedule. After the project was complete, Canis Sino Construction Corporation began to repair part of a nearby public road. Typically, a specific officer or authority would be in charge of this kind of matter. But, as a result, this became problematic for the construction team to repair the public road. Fortunately, the project drew from all the various opinions, satisfying each demand, and ultimately achieving an accommodating result for everyone. Despite numerous difficulties, the construction team was still able to complete one floor in seven days and four floors in a month, demonstrating the strength of Kanasino Construction Corporation. At the end of construction, the owner was moved and praised the Kanasino Construction Corporation for its positive attitude. Upon completion, the beautiful Skytree project became the newest, tallest, and most remarkable landmark of this area.